DDR4, DDR3, DDR2, this mainboard, uh, that's a DDR4 one, DDR3 one over here and DDR2 over here. In case you're upgrading, I will show you now how to take these RAM modules out first. You can skip forward if you only need to see how to put them in. We're gonna start with the most recent ones, DDR4, with the thumb of the right hand. I'm just gonna press it. Well, not just down, but upward. Okay, upward. And it did click a little. Now I'm gonna use this thumb to hold it uh, to prevent it from falling. And down here we have the same kind of thing. So at the top I'm still holding it with my thumb. See? Uh, just very softly so it doesn't fall out. Once it's free at the bottom and I'm just gonna use the thumb here. Downward, pressing it downward. And click and it's free. So it's actually still in there. I'm just gonna hold them like this and pull out. All right, that's it. You do the same thing for the others, of course. Just uh, flip these open. Bottom and top. And then just carefully. Uh, I recommend you do not touch it from the sides, only by the edges, and then just pull it out. All right, here we are on the DDR3 board, and we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna start at the bottom, because it doesn't really matter, we're just gonna we're just gonna open up one, and then the second one at the top, and just pull it out by the sides, by the edges, I mean. And we're just gonna do it both at the same time this time. Actually, no, first one at the top, second one, oh, that one's kinda stuck. Okay, whoa, that was a bit, felt a bit dangerous. I touched the motherboard there, could've chipped off some, some chip. And we're gonna take out one of these tiny ones as well. Same procedure, top, top first, bottom second, this one was easier. And can we get it out at all? It's so, so small. Okay, here we go. This is a DDR4, the most modern one. And uh, pay attention to this gap. Where is this gap? It's over there. This one has its gap more to the left, so it must be DDR2 or DDR3, right? Wrong. It's the same module, just uh, rotate it. If you're just very brutal, you can totally break it when you insert it incorrectly. But anyway, so we're gonna start with the DDR4 ones. There. This little thing over here needs to align with this gap. So if we hold it next to each other, it's really hard to see. But they totally do not align. You really need to have some light in there, so use your phone, use whatever. Anyways, by now I hope it is clear that this is not the right way, so just flip it. And put it in properly. Before we do that, make sure the flaps are open, so just... Uh, get the cable out of the way. Just close and open them to make sure to get a feel what their maximum openness is. And just make sure they're open, same at the bottom. Or else you're getting in nothing. All right, and then just plug it in there. And you can do one end first. All right, so that clicked. And now down here, there's quite some force. I think the first time you're gonna do this, you're gonna take a lot of courage. So make sure you aligned it well. And now we're gonna insert the second one, or the fourth one, depending on how you count Star Wars. Oof, okay, there we go. Okay, that went quiet. Huh. Okay. So this one didn't click at the top, but it's... Yeah, it's definitely in. All right, there we go. Let's go to the DDR4 one. All right, here's our module. Uh, this is uh, kind of easier to tell, yeah. It's much clearer to me where the gap is. It's at, uh, at like, this end, and this is the shorter end. Hmm, DDR3 is pretty cool. So we're just gonna, again, check that these are open. And now... Don't uh, get any cables trapped in there. And the top first. Click. Bottom. Click. That's it. That was nicer, but this is a much bigger board. Alright, let's go to the most cramped one. 
DDR2. And this one has one inside, one of these to be exact. And we're gonna only put in three in total because I have a theory that either the fourth one is broken or the lane is broken or something is broken. In any case, this computer crashes often if you have uh, all four in there. So this one, uh, let's see. Here it's again not very clear, which is the shorter. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. The shorter one is at the bottom again. And here we go. These cl clips or whatever to call them, they are open, so I'm just gonna push in. Oh, okay. Are you in or not? I think this one is in. And the second one is in. Huh. That was weird, let's try it again. Okay, and uh, now we're gonna put in this one. And again, I have a hard time telling which is the shorter one, but I think it's this part. Yeah, so it must go in like this. Yep, correct. Top one first. Just a... Okay, just a question of preference and bottom one. Okay, that didn't quite go. Okay, this one doesn't click, it more of a thump. But this one is inside as well, and we are done. Remember to keep your hands clean and uh, have fun upgrading your computer or just putting it all together. Make sure to subscribe to support this channel, and I'll see you next time. Ciao!